Hello everyone, you are welcome to solve this nice algebra problem, which is x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 4, this is equal to 12. So, what is the value of x? Given that x is not equal to 0, and that x is a member of real numbers. So, let's prevent a solution from here. Now, we can express x to the power of 6 as x to the power of 3 raised to the power of 2, then plus x to the power of 4 can be expressed as x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 12. Now, x to the power of 3, raised to the power of 2, this is in the form of a to the power of n, raised to the power of m, and this can be expressed as a to the power of m, raised to the power of n. Applying this exponent property, then we have x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 3, then plus x to the power of 2, raised to the power of 2, this is equal to 12. Now, the next step from here, we can let x to the power of 2 be equal to u. Substituting u, then here we have u to the power of 3, plus u to the power of 2, this is equal to 12. Now, let's take 12 on the left-hand side, so that now we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2, subtract 12, this is equal to 0. Now, here we can have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2 minus 12, which we can express as 8 plus 4, this is equal to 0. Now, here we have u to the power of 3 plus u to the power of 2, minus 8, 8 can be expressed as 2 to the power of 3, minus times plus 4, this can be expressed as minus 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. Now, we have u to the power of 3 and 2 to the power of 3, so we can write this as u to the power of 3, minus 2 to the power of 3, then plus u to the power of 2, minus 2 to the power of 2, this is equal to 0. So we have two parts here, this is the first part, this is the difference of two cubes expressed as a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, and we have the second part here, which is the difference of two perfect squares expressed as a squared minus b squared. Now from the first part here, which is a to the power of 3 minus b to the power of 3, this can be expressed as a minus b a squared plus AB, then plus B squared. Now this implies that U to the power of 3 minus 2 to the power of 3. This is the same thing as U minus 2. Then here we have U squared plus 2U, then plus 2 squared, which is equal to 4. Let's call this equation 1. Now we have that... The second part is in the form of a squared minus b squared, which we can express as a plus b, a minus b. So we have that u to the power of 2 minus 2 to the power of 2. This is the same thing as u plus 2. Then we have u minus 2. And let's call this equation 2. Now let's combine equation 1 and equation 2 so that we have u minus 2. Here we have u squared plus 2u plus 4. Then plus, here we have u plus 2. Then u minus 2. This is actually equal to 0. Now, u minus 2 is common here, so we can factor out u minus 2, so that now into the parentheses, here we have u to the power of 2 plus 2u plus 4. Then plus, here we have u plus 2. Cross the parentheses, this is equal to 0. Now we have two parts here. The first part is u minus 2. This is equal to 0. And the second part here is u to the power of 2 plus 2u plus u. This is 3u then plus 4 plus 2, this is 6, then this is equal to 0. 
Now this implies that from here, u1 is equal to 2. u1 is equal to 2. The second part here is a quadratic equation of the form a u squared plus b u then plus c. This is equal to 0. From this quadratic equation, a is equal to 1, b is equal to 3, and that c is equal to 6. So let's check the nature of the root of this quadratic equation by determining the discriminant value, which is actually b squared minus 4ac. In this case, let's substitute the value of a, b, and c, so that now here we have 3 to the power of 2 minus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 6. So that now here we have 3 squared, this is 9, minus 6 times 4, this is 24. And in this case, we have that 9 minus 24, this is minus 15, which is less than 0. And this means that here we have complex roots. Here we have complex roots. And this means that this quadratic equation part, there will be no real solution in this case. This will not give us a real solution, providing that we have that x is a member of real numbers. So this quadratic equation part is rejected. So this part is actually rejected. So let's let, let focus on u1, which is equal to 2. Now, if you recall, if you recall, we have seen that let x to the power of 2 be equal to u. Substituting u with 2, so we'll have x to the power of 2, this is equal to 2. To solve for x here, we introduce a square root on both sides, so that we have the square root of x squared. This is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. And therefore, this implies that x is equal to plus or minus the square root of 2. Or in other words, we can express x as this is plus or minus 2 raised to the power of half. Now, the next step from here is to verify that this value of x satisfies the equation. Now, here we have two values of x. We have that x1 is equal to 2 raised to the power of 2. And we have that x2 is equal to minus 2 raised to the power of half. So, let's verify. Now, if you recall, we end that x to the power of 6 plus x to the power of 4. This is supposed to give us a value of 12. Let's start with x1 here. Let's substitute x1 so that we have 2 to the power of half raised to the power of 6 plus 2 to the power of half raised to the power of 4. <clears throat> this should give us a value of 12. Let's simplify here. 6 divided by 2, this is 3. So we have 2 to the power of 3 plus here we simplify 4 by 2. So this becomes 2 to the power of 2. This should give us a value of 12. Now, 2 to the power of 3, this is 8. Plus 2 to the power of 2, this is 4. And this should give us a value of 12. 8 plus 4, this is 12. And this is equal to 12. So this implies that the left add side is equal to the right add side. Now, let's check x2, which is minus 2 raised to the power of half. Substituting this, we have minus 2 raised to the power of half raised to the power of 6, then plus minus 2 raised to the power of half raised to the power of 4. This should give us a value of 12. Now, simplifying here, we have 6 divided by 2. This is 3. So we have minus 2 raised to the power of 3, then plus. Now 4 divided by 2, this is 2. So we have minus 2 raised to the power of 2, this is 4. This should give us a value of 12. Minus 2 to the power of 3, this is minus 8 
10 plus 4, this should give us a value of 12. Minus 8 plus 4, this is minus 4, and this is not equal to 12. And this proves that x2 here does not satisfy the equation. So this means that we only have one solution, which is 2 to the power of half. Now, this is the solution here. So kindly follow the steps. Like this video and kindly subscribe. Please like this video and subscribe. See you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.